Hi guys, in today's video, we're gonna get our panel that we set up last week configured in x -Lights. We're gonna create a short sequence and then we'll get it running in FPP on our panel to finish today. So I've opened X Lights. Um, I've got a brand new folder here with nothing configured. And the first thing we need to do is to add our controller. Now X Lights makes it really easy to add FPP based controllers. All we, as long as they're on the same network, then all we need to do is to hit the discover option. So I'm going to go to discover. And there we go. So X Lights has immediately found our FPP demo instance, and it's got the right number of channels, 36864, um, that we set up on the panel's output page. So I'm going to hit save on that. Now our channels at this point dropped from 38684 down to just one, but that's fine because it's set up on DDP. So nothing to concern us there. So now I'm going to go into layout and I'm going to pull out a matrix and we'll make it roughly the same shape as the one on the desk here. There we go, so somewhere about there. Now, our matrix is currently set for name of matrix, that works for me. The direction is horizontal, so horizontal means each run is going to run horizontally, that's correct. Uh, each string that is will run horizontally. And we have 96 pixels high because we're at 3 times 32. So that's going to be the number of strings. So 96 for our number of strings. Our nodes per string is the number of pixels across. So that's 128. Our strands per string is 1. And we can stop there. We don't need to set a controller at this point because we can do that in the visualizer in a second. So that's, that's all we need to do in the settings here for the model. Okay, we save that. If I go back to controllers now and go to visualize, we can see that we've got our matrix here and we can drag that across and drop it onto our controller that way. Okay, that's done. Come out of there and save. And there we are. It's assigned the right number of channels now. So our channels goes from 1 to 36864, as we expected, and as matches FPP. So that's the layout set up. That's really, really simple. Um, that's done. What we need to do now is we need to create... Uh, a little sequence that we can push out to our controller. So I'm going to go into Sequencer, and then I'm going to go to File, New Sequence. I'm just going to create an animation of 30 seconds at 40 frames per second. Quick start. Thank you. There we go. We've got our one model in there, which is all we have at the moment. And I'm going to do our trusty butterfly because it works so well. There we go. There's butterfly. And I'm going to drag her out to our 30 seconds. There we go. I'll bring the front forward as well. And there we have our trusty butterfly ready to go. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to call that butterfly. And there we go, we've applied, we've created a tiny little sequence and that is now ready to test. We've applied the controller settings uh, already on the controllers page, so it knows where the controller is. We've set the sequence ready to go and now all we need to do is turn on output to lights and we'll see what happens. 
And actually, look at that. That's working really well. So that's all very good and dandy. I like that. Um, that's behaving very nicely. But it's not really what we wanted to do to complete. What we were looking to do is to get that sequence and pushed onto FPP so that we can then play it from FPP without X lights. So I'm now going to turn off the output to lights on X lights, and we're going to copy the sequence across to FPP. All I need to do is go to Tools and FPP Connect. There we go, it's found our instance. And we just need to make sure that our settings are correct here. So our version of FPP is 6.3, which is the current uh, latest release. Our FSEQ type is currently V2 sparse. Now what that means is if you have multiple controllers, X lights will work out which channels need to go to each controller uh, or each instance of FPP, and it will trim the XSEQ, um, the file that's got to go to each controller, and it will uh, only give the channels that are needed by each controller. Now, because we've only got one here, it won't make any difference. Um, I'm going to set this to V2 because we want the whole sequence across there. Media, if you had sound files or anything like that to go across, um, then media would ensure that they go too. We don't have any of those. Models, if you're going to do display testing uh, directly from FPP, then FPP will need to know about all your different models. Um, this is particularly valuable on pixel type stuff for this panel, we've only got the one model, so and it's already configured, so we don't need to worry about that. UDP out. Um, this device is not going to be sending UDP out, so our instance of FPP is not going to be controlling any other instances, uh, any other players um, or controllers, so I'm going to leave that as none. We don't want to put this file into a playlist. If we did, we could put it there. And that's just telling us about the model that's already configured. So I can check yes on the sequence and then press upload. And it's now pushing the Butterfly 2308 FSEQ file across to our instance of FPP. So it really was a quite a simple setup in, in X lights there. We, we went into controllers and did a discovery. It found our instance of FPP. We then went into layout, created our matrix. Once we created the matrix, we went back to controllers and we went to visualize and attached the, the matrix onto our controller. And then we created a sequence uh, just a butterfly, to demonstrate the panel doing its thing. Once we created that sequence, we then used FPP Connect to push it, uh, the, F the FSEQ file we pushed from X lights into FPP. So all that's left is to test FPP and make sure that it's got our sequence. So here's our FPP instance. I'm just going to refresh this page. And there we are. We can tell immediately that the sequence has been uploaded because it appears in the player status here. It's something that we can play directly. And so we can test that right now by just hitting play. And there we go. There's our there's our butterfly sequence playing nicely directly from FPP. That's as simple as it is to set up a very quick sequence in X lights, push it to X, to push it to FPP, 
and play it directly from FPP. We don't need X lights at all now. Uh, we can just take our Pi um, and our matrix, go off, set it up, power it up, and, uh, and play, and there it is, ready to go. So really short and sweet video this week. Um, setting the software up is really the, is the easy part these days. You don't have to worry about half the things we used to have to do in the old days. Um, nice and simple, and it's all ready for you. So I hope you found this one useful. As always, take care, have fun, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.